So we've had some fun querying an existing database, but it's a lot more fun working with your own data and your own tables. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to use phpMyAdmin, that's the application that we've been using so far, in order to do this. So to get back to a place where we're looking at our existing databases, we can click on this link, which is the leftmost link in the breadcrumbs at the top of the page. The actual address here might be a little different for you. And now you can see on the left hand side we have the different databases. Again, we were looking at learnphp underscore Drupal. To create a new database, we can fill out this form here. We just need a name for a database, and I'm just going to put my underscore database. And we can ignore the other options for now, and then click create. When our database is created initially, it's an empty shell. We don't have any tables or data inside of it. So what we'll do for an example here is to take one of our previous exercises and convert it so that we use a database instead of using a comma separated value list. This will be a list of people along with their shoe size, their favorite band, and their birthday. In order to store their information, we need a table with the correct set of columns. So in this create a new table on database my database form, what we're going to type is people, and that will be the name of our table, and then we'll put four for the number of fields. Again, we have the name, shoe size, favorite band, and birth year, and then we'll click go. Now this form may seem a little daunting at first. If we scroll to the right, you see there's additional form elements there, but a lot of these fields we can ignore for now. Let's begin by typing in the name of the fields. Okay, so now we have name, shoe size, birth year, and favorite band. Now our next step is to decide what type of columns these are. For shoe size and birth year, it'll be fairly straightforward. They're both integers, but they're going to be different lengths. By default, we have integer selected here, and so we can keep that, but for the length, we'll put two for shoe size and four for birth year, since a year is four digits, and shoe size will only be up to two. Now even though we're inputting two here, it doesn't mean that it has to be two, it just means it can be up to two and then we'll put four for birth year. The trickier columns are going to be the name and the favorite band. Now there's two different column types that can be useful for this. If we click on this end here, we'll see a dropdown of the various options. When we're dealing with text, like name or favorite band, our two options are really going to be vercare or text. Now both of these have different properties. The text column can contain a lot of characters inside of it, whereas vercare can only contain up to 256. So one thought might be, if text can contain a lot of information, why don't we choose that every time? The main reason has to do with speed. When we query against the database using SQL, each query takes a certain amount of time, and that time is determined by a few different things. One is the complexity of the query. Sometimes we can do a query that does some pretty complicated things. It takes a lot of processing power to complete. But another thing that impacts speed is that certain columns are going to be faster for MySQL to access, to sort, and to filter by. And vercare is significantly faster. So the idea is that if we know there's not going to be more than 256 characters in a column, or we can do without that extra, whatever that extra would be, then vercare is going to be a better option in the long run. One other interesting difference between these two types is that vercare will always take up a certain amount of space in storage. That space will be the length that we give it ultimately, whereas text will only take up the amount of space that's equal to the number of characters that are in it. So if there's only three characters in text, it will only require those three bits of space, whereas vercare, if we're set to a maximum length of 100, will take up 100 even if there's just three characters in it. But again, because of the speed issue, we're always going to pick vercare if we can. So we'll choose vercare for name, and let's go ahead and set the length to 100, which seems reasonable now, and we can always increase it later if we find out that this isn't sufficient. And for favorite band, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Admittedly, there are going to be some outlier bands that have extravagantly long names, but we're not going to worry about those for now. Now this is really all we need, so we can ignore this default collation, attributes, null, index, AI, and comments columns here, and we can also ignore the table comments, storage engine, collation, and partition definition, and we can just click save. 